Welcome back viewers, this is the Treasures of Life show when my name is Jonas Simba and my sign language interpreter is Wanja. I'm talking about it is our time and I am winding this up. Just give me your views. You may be watching this from whichever counties of this country you are in or even internationally. You can give us a text 0111 0111-9898-03-84 0111-9803-84 Let me say it again 0111-9803-84 Give us a text on that number or give us a call you'll find uh, somebody to receive your call on the other end and just give your comments about this show this is science tv by the way that we are bringing this to you from nairobi kenya broadcasting to you from nairobi kenya treasures of life show is your home of motivation and this topic today is about energizing you to cause a change today there is something that separates you know dreamers from movers from shakers from people that do things from actors from people that bring a real change you need to transform yourself from just a mere dreamer to somebody that brings things to work and to happen this may be a topic that may be targeting the youths but at the moment i'm speaking to all categories of people whether you are 85 95 whether you are 10 years whoever is watching this this is for you it is your time for change we need to stop every negative thing that has been transferred to us in our history and pick up the positive things truth be told the generation z that we are dealing with now is a generation that celebrates truth and reality you may be of a generation that was there celebrating technology so much or celebrating materialism so much or accolades but this is a generation this is a time of truth and reality go into your social media handles and look at the kind of content in the air they don't care they don't care who the person is they just even don't care about their looks just in case you did not know if you are putting on a makeup right now you are not of this generation to some extent because this generation is real that is why they don't put up makeups that is why the kind of clothing and dressing they put on you would be shocked because they are so real they have nothing to hide you won't find them in ties so much like you and me there is something in them that is just yearning for truth yearning for reality and we need to work hard to bat this because in in that truth and reality we can bat up the right virtues that is why we need to train that is why places like the treasures of life show that is why places like the church and schools there is something that school was meant to do but it is not doing it enough there is something that was targeted when our youths were taken to school they needed something that comes out of education but the youths have realized these people have realized there is something they're not getting into in schools there is some kind of deception that is why you're seeing them looking for something else in the social media we need to restore this in in our school systems we need to restore um genuineness there is genuine education what do we demand out of our education are we genuine about bringing a transformation are we genuine about cutting out negativity the things that have destroyed us as a people in the past are we genuine about bringing forth a youth a group of people of excellence oh my i wish you knew the kind of geniuses we are dealing with just in case you didn't know you are not dealing with zombies you are not dealing with 
um, fools. You are dealing with intelligent young people. These are teenagers. These are 20 year olds, 30 year olds. Some of them are even 10 years. But they are very intelligent, very genuine. Inside of them lies an ability to birth companies. In case you just did not know, there is enough material in them to transform this country to levels that you may not imagine. We may have been defeated in the past generations to transform this country into a first world. But guess what? This generation that you are looking at, the 40 million people, this generation, trust you me, one day they are gonna bring this country to a level where we will be a first world nation. This is the generation that you will see in the World Cup. This is the generation that you are going to see in the international platforms competing and winning, not just competing. This is the generation that is going to take this nation to a place you've never ever been to before as a country. So you need to know that you are handling a people of power. As you are dealing with them, don't deal with them carelessly. You know, this, are, this is a fragile generation. Handle them with prayer. I've not said care, I've said prayer. Handle them with a lot of prayer. This is a generation that is fragile. It needs to be handled with a lot of fragility because they are a generation that is carrying destiny. If the devil wanted to kill the whole of the children in Egypt just because they were targeting one Moses, how much will the devil want to kill this nation? Because there are so many. We do not have just one Moses. We have many Moseses among them. All of them, the, the young people you have in your home, those are Moseses you are dealing with. If the devil had only one Moses, yet Herod gave a command that all children should be killed. If the devil sent emissaries to look for one Jesus and in the process, children were killed. How much will the devil look for these ones? Because they are not one. Trust you me, they are not two. They are 40 million. Trust you me, we are handling a generation of power. We are handling visions. We are handling dreams. We are handling the future of this continent. In fact, the future of the world. Therefore, the devil will look for them. He will want to cause them to kill themselves out of depression, suicide. He will cause us to cause them not to exercise their potential. He will cause us to cause them not to have jobs unemployment. He will cause us to just get into corruption and strife and lack of focus. And these people will be denied the opportunity to back this country into a, pos a place of power. I'm looking at our 2050 as I'm talking now. I'm talking with passion because I know I'm talking about a destiny of a country. I'm talking about the destiny of a continent. That is why I'm talking with a lot of passion. If only you understood the depth of this matter, you would get back into proper parenting. You pastors that are joking with your work, you CEOs, you MDs, you politicians, you are joking. You do not know what you're dealing with. You are dealing with the future of this continent. You are dealing with, you are dealing with visions. You are dealing with something bigger than you imagine. If only God would open your inner eyes so that you could see the kind of destinies you are handling. You are handling, some of these people are not just, some of these young people are systems. You are dealing with systems. You are dealing with one system. When you deal with one young girl, you are dealing with the whole system. When you deal with one young man, you are dealing with the whole system. Some of these people, it, it is a whole mega company you are dealing with. You are dealing with people that are going to employ men and women of this country in their thousands. You are dealing with, you are dealing with big things and yet you are joking with the job. May God not put you aside and put others in your place. That is my prayer for you, that you may realize the kind of job that is in your hands. Oh my, I wish you knew, right now we have 20, 21 year olds writing books. I know of 21 year olds and one of them I'm going to bring in this show next week. Somebody in his 21 years, he has already written three books. Who in our generation of the past 
You know, we used to imagine that people can write books at 40 or 45. These are people that are already putting companies in place at 20, at 25. Somebody has already set up a huge running company. That is what we are dealing with here. We are dealing with genius in our hands. God has blessed this nation with the blessing of youth, with the blessing of young people. And he has not given us fools for a country. He has given us intelligence. He has given us people that we can train. That is why we need to put training places with focus deliberately. Let us work hard on our churches, on our mentorship uh, corners. Let us work hard in our companies. Let us work hard for the sake of these youths because these are the youths. We are not doing them a favor. Trust you me. They are the ones that are going to transform us. The desires that we have, the prayers we've had for this country for many years. It is going to be birthed in them. So it is not like a favor we are doing them. They are there. They have been brought as an answer to our prayer. So we need to turn back to training. Fold our hands and focus on the young people. Come out of your little cocoons of strife. You are fighting for uh, um, empty politics. You know, strife in politics for no reason. Destroying destinies. Bringing down destinies. Just because of uh, simple ego, woes. Simple, uh, you know, hatreds and, you know, the kind of wars that have been there in families, destroying some of these people. It is killing them before they show up in the city, before they show up in the world. They are already dead and gone because the devil is looking for them. He knows that they are carrying so much. That is why he loves to destroy them out of depression. It is so high right now. The nation newspaper already by this time, since the beginning of this year, has already carried 72 headlines dealing with uh, mental health, health issues. That should tell you about something about the state of this country. 72 headlines in a year about the depression and the states of mental health of this country. It should tell you something. There is, there is something about suicide and depression and giving up. Let us not allow our youths give up so early in life. No, no, let us not get them into giving up because of lack of employment. Let us give them an opportunity to exercise their potential. Just imagine this. You are getting into corruption and eating up the funds and the monies that are supposed to birth their visions and their dreams. And yet some of them are systems given only little support. They would come up with companies that can transform this nation to places that you cannot imagine. Right now this nation is coming to a place it has never been before. You need to open your inner eyes to see it. You need to be focused a little bit to see it. It is a nation of power that we are dealing with. And that right now, if you look at what they are doing, they are thinking disruptively. These are disruptive thinkers. These are people that are thinking out of the box. They are thinking in a very new way. It may look strange to you. They are coming up with ideas that are very disruptive. And I'm winding up. They are, they are thinking up in a very new way. Because they are birthing something that has not been there in our past. And whatever they are birthing, that is what the devil is fighting. Because that is what God is going to use to take us to the next level. Every generation has its war. It is our time now to fight the war of our time. As long as you are alive in this generation, win the war. You have no choice but to win the war. You have no choice but to conquer the island. You have to conquer Kenya now. Whether you're in politics, whether you're in business, whether you're in the public or private sector, whichever sector you are, as I wind up today, it is our time to conquer the land, to conquer the giants of this nation, to win the battle of our time. Because this nation is going far. It is going far. For sure it is going far. And that is my declaration for you. You are going far. You are a man and a woman of change. Don't die before your time. Stay alive to cause a change and a legacy. My name is Jonah Simba. See you next week on the Treasures of Life show. Bye.